In this episode of Sailing Doodles, we sail up to Yost Van Dyke. And we have a little fun at Foxy's Bar before heading back to Tortola and Cane Garden Bay. And then we say goodbye to a crewmate. A year ago, I had a stroke and lost my career as a corporate pilot. So I sold everything I own and bought a boat that probably cost less than your car. I packed up my two dogs, talked a good friend into going along, and we set off to sail around the world. Along the way, we've had some great adventures and met some amazing people. We've even picked up a crewmate. So come along with us on this journey and enjoy the ride. These videos are made possible by patrons like you. To find out how you can help, go to sailingdoodles.com. We left Tortola as the BVI Spring Regatta was still going on. This is one of the sailboats that was in the race. You can see here, as soon as they get their spinnaker up, they just start flying across the water. It really is amazing how fast some of these boats can go. We weren't in any hurry though, so we just motored the three and a half miles up to Yost Van Dyke. You can see here the girls were enjoying some downtime on the boat. This is Great Harbor. It's just a little bit over from White Bay where Soggy Dollar is. That bay tends to get a little rolly and is a little too shallow for our draft. You can see here the water is just crystal clear and it really is beautiful. There's a really great white sand beach for walking the dog and plenty of restaurants and bars right on the water. This is the world famous Foxy's Bar. It's a little subdued during the day, but it's the nighttime when it really comes alive. If you're looking for some good nightlife, Foxy's has it pretty much every night. This is our old friend Chili, who we met back in Bimini, Bahamas well over four months ago. It's amazing how you meet people when you're cruising and then run into them a few months later. He and Megan were playing some game where they were tied together and had to get out of it without undoing knots. Not exactly sure it worked for them, but at least they were having fun while they were doing it. Dogs can be fairly shy when they're around people they don't know, but you can see here that Georgie's helping them feel a little better. After a good night of fun there at Foxy's, the next day we set sail back to Tortola. This is Cane Garden Bay on the north side of Tortola. It's often overlooked by cruisers, but it really is a fun spot. There are tons of restaurants and bars and hotels right there on the beach. And the sunset's pretty nice too. 
You can see here the girls were definitely having a good time. I'm not exactly sure what Georgie was doing here, but I think she was channeling her inner monkey. Although her dismount was definitely very unique. Do you realize how phallic that looks what you're doing right now? Did I mention the sunsets were pretty? The dogs seem to like them too. You can see here, this wave took the girls for a ride. All I saw were arms and feet flailing. We made friends with a couple of locals named Ben and Alvin, and they took us on a tour of the island. They showed us some really great spots with some gorgeous views. The Banana Keep Bar and Cafe is probably one of the prettiest views and a great place to have dinner or a couple drinks. It's beautiful. Yeah. We're going right at uh, next bay, next bay. That's a long We didn't have dinner here though, as we try to save as much money as we can by eating mostly on the boat. So we topped off the evening with a little bit of mini golf at uh, Nanny Key. I was impressed with oh, Megan's yeah. skills. Oh, I gotta say, I did still win. The next day, Maverick decided he wanted to sail us over to the other side of the island because we had a crew member that had a ferry to catch. Feel your last day with us. Sad, very yeah. sad. We're gonna miss you. Leave in the Caribbean sun. Right. You get the med season. Yeah. You're leaving with a good tan. I know. That's what I wanted to call. Even you got. You wrote your eyes. <laughs> How do you feel about her leaving? I don't want to talk about it. Bye -bye. We were sad to see her leaving, but Georgie was headed over to the Mediterranean for a job interview and hopefully a placement on a boat. Favorite part of sailing here? My favorite part. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Not you guys. Um, no. <laughs> I'm joking. The dogs and the boat it just becomes home and you guys, everyone's so friendly. The Caribbean is very different to everywhere else. Just the lifestyle. What are you not going to miss? What's, what's your least favorite thing? I'm not going to miss, let's see. I'm not going to miss having to jump in the water every day to shower pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I'm quite excited for a decent shower. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna miss eating canned food every day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but otherwise, everything else is it's pretty good. <laughs> what's uh, what's your favorite? Where's your favorite place we've been? St. John's. St. John's. Definitely St. John's. Being able to swim around the boat. Yeah, being able to swim. Swim to shore. And the hike. Hiking, the walk we did, <laughs> excursions, excursions, and bushwhackers. <laughs> Definitely gonna work miss bushwhackers. <laughs> you can recreate them. I wish you guys luck on your journey, and I'm gonna miss you guys. If these guys on the bar, and the first day she wasn't <laughs> even happy to have me here. Oh. <laughs> I shared the bed with some strange girl, and now no pretty much the same. I miss you so much. I'm gonna miss you more than this. <laughs> <laughs> Rough news will forever be my favorite place. That's a lot. <laughs> until, <laughs> until, until I get onto a hundred foot motor yacht. Yeah. And you have cabin, your own shower. shower. <laughs> An actual <laughs> toilet <laughs> that doesn't have a crack in the wall. <laughs> 
Yeah, you don't have to pump and you can just like <laughs> step on a little button. <laughs> Thank you for thank you for all the time. Thank you so much for everything. It's been great. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Right there, Parker. Oh, good luck. Keep well and enjoy all your adventures. Thank you, Parker. I will be always. <laughs> Alright, leave before I start. <laughs> it's been real, guys. It has. Bye, Georgie. Even the dogs were sad to see Georgie go. Okay, now you have to cuddle with me. <laughs> so with Georgie on her way, we set sail for Norman's Island to have a little fun down there. So check out next week's episode as we head down to Norman's Island and have a little fun at uh, world famous Willie T's. As always, please click like and subscribe. And this video channel is funded by viewers like you. You can go to sailingdoodles.com to find out how you can help. Thank you.